Okay. <laughs> so we're back, and while the chips were in baking, we prepped the goodies for the top. So we did three quarters of a red sweet bell pepper. We did a jalapeno pepper. We did a number of little cherry tomatoes and red onion. And we've got avocado, but we don't put the avocado on until it comes out after. So I'm going to grab those chips. They were in there for, like I say, t about 12 minutes. We'll see what they look like. Looking pretty good. Just starting to crisp up. Oh, look at that. Is that perfect? Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay, here's the other one. That's a little hot. But no, it's not. It's fine. Kind of fine. Um, now, what I'm seeing is that this is quite a few less chips than we usually use. <laughs> but uh, we're going to make it work. So, since we did five uh, tortillas, what we usually do, it's looking to me now like we probably use the equivalent of maybe eight. So, that's what we'll do in the future. So, that'll be the start. I like to do two layers. Oh, I've got to do the other one. I like to do two layers for some reason. I guess where this came from is we used to volunteer kind of late at night um, for one of our one of the teachers that we used to sit with. And we would uh, set up uh, an event for the next day. So we'd be late at night. And so we would be hungry. And on the way home, we would stop at Moxie's and get these cheese nachos to die for. We thought they were to die for back then. And uh, then it got to where, you know, maybe this isn't actually so great. <laughs> And we stopped doing that. But there's the experience, isn't there? It's like the fun. It's like the fun um, of, 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 of the event. And so when we moved here, I think this is where we discovered it, isn't it? We started making these when we came back to Canada. Yes. It was like, well, oh, I know what it was. Yeah, we came back to Canada and there's a Moxie's here. And we stopped at Moxie's one of those days when it was like, Let's recreate some fun, you know? We went in, we ordered the, the cheese nachos, and it was like, well, that was pretty interesting, but it was a little extreme, you know? We hadn't had that much cheese in a long time. So we decided, or I decided, how can we do fun without all that cheese? And this is what we came up with. So what I have here, Amy's refried beans. Now this is the one with the uh, mild green chilies in it. Um, and we use the black bean refried, we use the traditional refried. Sometimes I'll take a can of Amy's chili and I'll mix that with a can of refried and use that as our bean, um, bean base, uh, which is a great thing too. That's the base that we use in our enchiladas. It's fabulous. So this is what we've got for the first layer. Connie likes less beans. I like more beans, so I'm going to give myself some more beans. And uh, Connie likes it a little bit hotter, so she's going to get a little bit more of the jalapeno than me. And the next step before I put the second layer on is salsa. So we add a little dollop of salsa, and Connie likes salsa more than me, so she's going to get more than I do. We've got this fine tuned, i got to tell you. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so it was our way of just figuring out how can we have fun, that whole kind of fun experience that food can be, and do it in a way that really our bodies really love. So this is what we came up with. So you got to try it if you like nachos. And uh, we do not miss the cheese at all. It's that fulfilling. Okay, so now on with the second layer. So now I going to hide that first layer with another layer of chips, so I can get some more on there. Well, that looks like enough chips to me, though. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be just fine. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, but it is it is less than we us usually use. It's usually a few more, but these will be fine. And how did you dream up this recipe of nachos without cheese and 
Well, you know, I think it probably started with um, how much we enjoyed our enchiladas, because it, that was the same thing. My mother used to make these cheese enchiladas that I just couldn't get enough of. And so I got the recipe, and I made them, you know, years ago. And they were great, but they're just pounds of cheese, and it was getting to be too much. So um, I was thinking, I gotta, I gotta do the enchilada thing, but what can I do in place of cheese? So I thought, well, let me try beans. So it's kind of my mother's recipe, just replacing um, cheese with beans, and we just loved it. So then when I was trying to think, of, well, what will I do for nachos? I think that same idea just occurred to me, well, what satisfies me, what actually makes me feel good after I eat it, that's Mexican, uh, that isn't cheese, and for me, that's refried beans. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> Don't you love it? I mean, you go to a Mexican restaurant, and they give you chips with salsa, and then we'll get a side of beans to go with it. Oh, uh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot to satisfy this boy. <laughs> so now again, salsa. A little bit of salsa on there with it. And the avocado gives it the oily uh, taste that you might want without any cheese. It's just so good. Yeah, yeah. So, so there you get that richness of the cheese, but in plant form instead of uh, animal saturated fat form. Yeah, that is so hard on the health. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to top it. So we uh, add the onion. So Connie likes a little more onion. I'm going to give her more than I get. And uh, then also we had just a little bit of lime juice left. And so I'm going to pour that lime juice on here too. And jalapeno and red pepper. You know, it's interesting as I'm putting this all together, what comes to my mind is pizza. <laughs> this is all the same ingredients I would put on a pizza, right? I just had some olives. So we'll have to come up. We actually do have a great recipe for pizza dough that's made from the pulp from uh, juicing. And that's on our blog under recipes. It's on our website. And it is so good. I mean, it is extraordinary pizza and totally health giving, no cheese, but such great taste. You can tell she likes it. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's really fun and, and pretty quick for any of you that have made the um, juicing pulp crackers. Uh, you know how quick it can be and you just roll it out. <coughs> you don't have tomatoes on mine, Bill. I'll get there. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't want to be left out. Right. Don't leave me out. I'm with you, baby. And uh, yeah, so if you've made the juicing pulp crackers, it's easy to make the pulp. It's the same recipe. You just roll it out a little bit thicker so that it uh, is more like a dough. And uh, yeah, let's see. I'll get this one here. I'll give these to you. Look at that. It looks like Connie scored more than I did. But you know, that's okay because she's she's really good about moderating herself. She doesn't overeat. So lots of times when we make the nachos and I don't my plate isn't quite as big as hers, I usually have to finish hers. So. Okay. We're going back in the oven. Uh, so the way I finish this off then is I broil um, these for four minutes or so. And since my oven is still hot, it'll probably be just maybe three and a half or four. And we go, and we'll get back to you as they're coming out. Okay, they have been in for about four minutes. We're gonna pull them out. What we got here? Very well done. So this one's mine. And uh, like I said, we had a little bit of that lime juice left. So we're going to add the lime juice. I'll just kind of pour this lime juice over it. We love lime with our Mexican food. <laughs> so there's that. 
and good enough. And then we top it with the avocado. Now tell me, that doesn't look inviting. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Playing in the sandbox. Magic in the kitchen. Let's have fun. Enjoy our food. And look at this. We get to play with our food with our hands just like the kids, right? Like I always wanted to do. Now yeah. the other thing that we want to share is we're cooking cabbage, kale, and broccoli to go along with this dish to get our dark leafy right. greens. Okay. So there you have it. If it looks inviting, give it a try. Well, here we are, we're back. This is what's left. They were <laughs> so good. I feel so good right now. So just wanted to share with you what we do after we try our first attempt at something. We then compare notes and we adjust and we're back in the sandbox just having fun. So what we found was that there was uh, quite a bit of lime juice left. So the, if the limes are as juicy as what we used today, we would use one lime with the same amount of salt. And the other thing is that um, we wouldn't bake them quite as long. So I had them in for 12 minutes. I think they would have been fine at 10 minutes because when we pull them out of the oven and then we build the nachos, they're still hot. We put them back in and I want that few minutes of broiling to heat the beans and all the other vegetables that are on there. And if those chips are still hot, then they tend to brown a lot faster. So um, we're going to try 10 minutes next time with one lime, same amount of salt, and go from there. Thanks so much.